Okay, in this video we're going to have a quick walk around of Unity itself. If you've used Unity before, you can skip on to the next video, but if you've never used Unity before, hang around and I'll give you some information and tips of what we're doing. So this is your standard Unity layout. You might have something like this, where you have the scenes and the game view beside each other, but I prefer to have my game view as a separate view. So the three main things you have, or, or the main areas we're going to look at, is the hierarchy, the scene, game, the inspector, and then our assets folder, inside our assets folder down here. So when you have, let's start by looking at the camera in the hierarchy. The hierarchy is a list of all the elements that are in your scene. Okay, so you have, you have your assets folder and you have all your assets in here which make up your game that you will use throughout your game, throughout different scenes. And then inside the hierarchy, this is what you'll have inside one specific scene. So it's just a list of all the elements. Your scene view here, this is a visual interpretation of what's in your hierarchy. And your game view only shows you through the camera. Let's just select the camera. And when I select the camera, over here in the inspector, all the information about the camera is revealed to me. So if I have another object, if I go game object, 2D object sprite, there's my 2D object sprite added to the scene. If I double click on it, I zoom in on it in my scene view. Now it's empty, that's why you can't see anything at the moment. So it's looking for an image to be put into it. So why don't we do that? If I just pull an image from the fungus folder, in the next video, we'll install fungus properly. So I'm gonna go down into Between no jumping prax, no go into Sherlock images, and I'm going to drag the coffee cup. So, with my new sprite selected, I can drag the coffee cup from the assets folder down here over into the inspector, and there it is. There, it's created the coffee cup for me there. Or I can take my coffee cup, drag it over here to the inspector, and it automatically turns it into a sprite. Now, one thing that happened there when I dragged my coffee cup from down here, project folder, to the hierarchy, it straight away put it in at 0, 0, 0. You see the transform information over here? So with coffee cup selected in the inspector, I can see its position, 0, 0, 0. Because I created this one myself, and I didn't drag it into the hierarchy, it just put it in the center of my scene. So if I look at my main camera, my main camera is all the way over there, also centered on 0, 0, 0. My new sprite, if I change it to, in the inspector, 0, 0, it'll appear beside or run on top of the other one. If I want to move an object in my hierarchy or in my scene, I click on the Move tool, I can move it up and down. I can move it around. If I click on the blue, which is all three, I can move it left and right, up, down. If I just click on the red, side to side, the green, up and down. If I click on my camera, it's the same thing. I'm moving my camera. And when I move my camera, it affects everything through the game view. So like I said a few moments ago, this is a list of the objects inside our scene in the hierarchy. This is the visual interpretation of that scene. And the game view is what the camera sees. So if I move the camera, I have these things just outside the game view that are completely gone, okay? And then whatever object I select in my hierarchy or in my scene view, information about it is displayed in the inspector on the right-hand side. And all our actual assets are in our assets folder down here. Now Unity is built around scenes. So if I wanna create a new scene, I go File, new scene. I'm not going to save that one. And then as I build new parts of my game and new places in my game, they're going to be new scenes. So I'm going to save this scene. I'm going to call this scene file, save scene. It asks me where do I want to save it. I'm just going to save it inside the assets folder here. I'm going to call it test one and save. That's the icon for a scene. It's also the icon for Unity in general, the little square on its side, called test one. So let's put a few items in our scene. So if I go to game object, 
I'm going to put in a, a light. You're not going to use any of these things in future. I'm just showing you some stuff here. A light. I'm going to put in a UI element text, a UI element button. So I have all these objects. If I click on them, if I double click on them, it zooms into them in the scene. Double click, there's our light. If I double click on the canvas, the canvas is part of our button and our text. That's our canvas there. Our text, I zoom into it, our button. And each time I select something in the inspector on the right hand side, this is where I can change all the information about it. Now I'm going to go File, Save Scene. And I'm going to File, New Scene. Now everything's disappeared. I'm going to save my new scene, File, Save Scene. I'm going to call this one Test 2. I've saved in the Assets folder just in general. There's nothing in this Test 2 scene. Okay, so if I double click on one, I've brought all my elements back from test one. Double click on test two, they're all there. They're the basics of what we need to know to use our fungus template. So without further ado, let's move on to the next video.